I see you've all found an answer to the problem. Whether it's right or not, let's move on to step four of our template, which is sharing with others. Okay, you'll be comparing your answer with others in a small group and explaining why and how you found it and why you think your answer is correct. Now, if you're working by yourself before, you'll need to latch on to another group. Steps four and five require group work to allow the learner to learn from others, present their ideas, which they'll write up either on the board or easel paper, and delve deeper into various math concepts. Well, all we did was we looked at the bars on the graph, and we saw that one was up to 40,000, and the other was up to 20,000. You can see that it's in the thousands because of this here on the side. So what we did was we just added them together to get 60,000 as seen right here. And the answer, I mean, the question asked for whether the answer was reasonable. And we thought that the 60,000 looked reasonable and it looked like it did in the graph. So we decided that was the right answer. I've worked with graphs in my job, so I was okay with this type of problem. So I went ahead and answered the original problem, too. And this is how I did it right over here. Note that when you use small groups, students at different levels can help each other. And some can go ahead while others work at their ability level or get help from the teacher. This happens naturally.